Okay, so um, trying out some stuff with New Vegas now this time, so Fallout 3. Um, been trying a few two weeks with deinterlacing, uh, not only in VLC, but in Handbrake. And uh, <laughs> I was having a lot of issues at one point or another with the um, with the um, sync issues, and I forgot to put in a couple settings when I was recording, so I had to re-record all over again. I'm here fooling around with the delay, trying to pick up some buffalo gourd seeds. And here we go again. I'm just walking along here. I'm going to see in this game there are certain spots where you are guaranteed to have respawns of certain characters. And I'm going to go over right now and go to the usual respawn spot for um, a few Legion Assassins. And um, yeah, I got the Survivalist Rifle here. I've got it loaded right now, I think, with hollow point 12.7 millimeter. Now the Survivalist Rifle comes from the Honest Hearts DLC pack. You, It's a uh, hidden item when you're uh, voyaging around, you can only get the item while you're in Honest Hearts. Once you're done Honest Hearts, you can't go back to the area and get that. Oh, here we go. First customer of the day. And look at him run. Time See, this guy always usually comes up first to draw you out. And so, instead of drawing him out, let's uh, fill him full of lead instead. The only problem is I didn't drug up before this, so... <laughs> the guy's armor is a bit good. But, you know, bloody mess, Burke. You know, that's always handy. That's all. Uh, see if his friends, there are usually about three more. Usually one guy comes out, draws you out, and the other three come out with heavy Time artillery. Uh, usually get one guy with a 12.7 millimeter machine gun. The other guy usually got a brush gun with his 45-70 caliber, which is, if you have the jury rigging um, perk, you can use the brush gun to fix things like the anti-personnel rifle. Or the anti-material rifle, sorry. Oh, it pretty much is anti-personnel. I use it with explosive rounds most times. I get one, like a group of three or four of these guys up against the wall. I sneak up and I just aim against the wall and pull the trigger. The backsplash usually takes care of everybody else. But, yeah. These scope sights sometimes are a little bit weird. But the survival's rifle, the sight's a little bit off. You can see it's bent to the left. But that's actually um, the weapon itself. And you can see I'm running low on hollow points, so let's just switch over to regular. And yeah, it's good for a long distance if, you know, you, especially if you're using the right perks. But I'm not going to cheat that and use VATs for everything, of course. I, I, You actually get better bonuses for not using VATs for criticals and things like that sometimes. Especially if you're not using the True Police Stories uh, magazines or anything like that. <coughs> but uh, yeah. This guy's uh, taking two bullets. That's the last one. Now it's time to loot some fucking corpses. All right, see what you got. See what your mom made you for lunch. Ooh, bitter drink. Shell casings. Money. Oh, marksman carbine. I can use that, but yeah, it's dead weight right now. All my weapons are in top condition, pretty much. All right, let's see what these other three stiffs yield. They usually drop about the same thing for when you loot them. There you go, here's that and the brush gun. I'm not going to bother with that because my anti-material anti my, my, my anti rifle is up to uh, top snuff, so. And you? Yeah, he's usually the one that carries the 12.7 millimeter. Now, I took uh, I took the jury rigging perk so I can fix my weapons easier. I always keep my repair rather high so I can affect the repairs myself and not have to go, you know, put myself out ca in the amount of sheer amount of caps and fixing stuff. Um, I like New Vegas's game system versus Fallout 3 for the fact of different ammunitions you can use, like, uh, and the reload bench, you can convert ammunitions, uh, you can break things down, so that's always pretty handy, because I'm using the All-American sometimes, but instead of 5.56, I'm using, uh, I'm using .223 millimeter, or 223, uh, caliber, I should say, uh, rounds which are compatible with anything 5.56. Oh, um, little trick, hit your vats and exit out, and you'll be usually lined up for the shot. But those are the two jackal members you usually see around. There's usually a car around here. And hey, Maybe there the it is. see first that we can too. get it with our insights. And nope, too high, too high. Too high, let's go down lower. There we go. Ooh, now that's a fire. That's a fire. Look at that. Look at that. You'll be all right. Roll them around. So, yeah, sometimes what I like doing, too, is uh, over on the other side of where I just blew up the car, too, there's a uh, sand pit with a lot of um, scorpions. And then they've nerfed the scorpions, the rad scorpions, in uh, 
New Vegas. So it usually it's like going to the golf range for me and hitting the long ball. It's kind of the same thing. See how far the draw distance is and how far I can actually pick off somebody. Not going to bother to loot those jackals. They usually only have something like, you know, drugs on them. Although, you know, my guy's a fiend. But anyway, this is me fooling around. Catch you guys again on the flip side.